Hello everyone, Jeff the Greener View here. These pretty flowers are the invasive weed called creeping bellflower, Campanula rapunculoides. Somewhere it sounds like that, I think. There are many species of plants in the Campanula genus found around the world, including several in North America. This creeping bellflower is commonly planted as an ornamental, but it escapes and spreads easily by seeds and rhizomes. This herbaceous perennial is one and a half to three feet tall, has very few side branches. Each stem has different shaped leaves at the bottom, middle, and top. The middle leaves can be about five inches long and two inches wide. The stems that end in a raceme of flowers. A raceme is an indeterminate spike of flowers with each flower growing on the end of its own short stalk called a pedicel. The flowers tend to hang down on one side of the stem and the stems often flop over onto the ground where they drop seeds. Each one inch flower is bell shaped and can be blue, violet, or white. They bloom for about a month in midsummer. Each flower will produce several seeds. They grow in sun or shade and wet or dry soil. The better the soil, the better the growth. They can be found growing naturalized in woodlands, grasslands, and fence rows, and roadsides. They do attract bees and other insects and the occasional hummingbird. Creeping bellflower is pretty when it blooms. Many other shrubs and perennials are blooming at the same time, so you don't really need this one. But it does look nice with roses, and the purple color contrasts nicely with yellow flowering uh, plants like rubecchias. The native bellflowers and other cultivated species do not spread like creeping bellflower. If you have this plant in your garden, make a habit of deadheading the entire stalk uh, be uh, before it goes to seed to limit the spread of the seeds. It is shallow rooted and pulls completely out of the ground so you can keep it under control if it spreads too much in your garden. And this is Jeff with a Greener View. Thanks for watching.